So, Milk Cow Blues is in A major, okay? Okay? C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Good to practice your scale and your arpeggio. A, C sharp, E. And the bottom octave. And both octaves together. So, got two octaves of A major with three sharps. Now, when you're playing uh, milk Cow Blues, you'll hear these chords going on, which is chord one, which is in A major, is A major. And then chord five, which is A, A, B, C sharp, D. Sorry, chord four, D, yeah? And then finally E major E G sharp B and then back to A. So see if you can hear those chord changes. Changing between those, A, D, and E major. Okay. Now, when you're going to play over the top of it, with those, there's a scale, which is not a major or a minor scale. It's a bit of an in-between scale. It's called a blues scale. Okay, so we're going to do a, a, a blues scale, which is... A little bit like a pentatonic minor. So, pentatonic minor goes like this. Uh, so a pentatonic minor will be. So, missing out the B. A, C, D, E. And then up to the G. And then the A at the top. But blue scale is slightly different because it goes and it joins these two notes up with, with this D sharp. And that's the blue note. It sounds really cool. So that's the, 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 that blue note, which in this is, we could either call it an A, E flat or a D sharp. Let's call it an E flat. So we've got A, C, D, E flat, E, G, A. That's the blue scale. 
So, miss this. Down the octave. Now this is great for improvising over a blues chord sequence, which is one. Sometimes I'm using this A and A blues scale. Sometimes I'm doing double stop. And sometimes I'm putting extra notes in as well. So you can mess around with that and try and uh, play over those chords. And this is a nice thing to do in the middle of Milk Cow Blue. So you've got the two. So I'm playing the tune, but then once I've gone round that a couple of times, I can just do my own tune over the top, imp improvising. Have a go.